Hello, my name is Keith Miller and I'm here at Senator Joyce Fairburn to talk to you about a special film that our school and our students have made. It's called After School Thriller. It's going to premiere April 27th with doors opening at 6.30 and we're wanting to have a red carpet event. We're going to be having student band play, we're going to be having a dancer, and we're going to be having popcorn cookies so you can come in, sit down, and watch this awesome film that these kids made. They put their heart and their soul into it and we're going to be putting it right in our gym, give you the full theater experience. So I am one third of an amazing fine arts dramatic team here. With Rachel Fairs and Megan Schaff, we actually got together at the beginning of the year to talk about what we wanted to do for our fine arts and theatrical students. However, with pretty much everyone else in the district, we had to deal with this pandemic that is still going on. We planned this amazing festival. We wanted to get as many students involved, but we continued to see that the audience would be a problem. And that became the solution that we needed to answer. What are we gonna do for these kids so that they can show their skills and still have an audience who will see it? And then a light bulb went off. What if we made a film? So again, our main focus was always having as many students as possible involved in this project. So we started with that in mind, and we started to write a screenplay, an actual script, and this started way back in December. We needed to make sure we had this solid idea. We wanted to feature our school. It's still a new building. We wanted to feature our students. They're still new to this whole idea, and most of them have never had a chance to perform. With all those key steps, we wrote a script, and we started additions in January. Luckily, by this point, we had already had a term of drama. So all of us drama teachers were able to see some students and we were able to kind of know, would we at least have our principal or our lead actors? The interest was definitely there. We put up a sign-up sheet just outside our drama doors and it filled quickly. And then the next part is we gave them a little bit of the draft script. They were able to come in, read cold, they didn't know what they were reading for as the screenplay had never been done before. And they kind of just came in and we wanted to see students. It was a middle school production, it was a middle school film, and it featured middle school characters. So we were looking for big personalities and a lot of the students that are featured, they're just playing slightly exaggerated versions of themselves. And from there we actually catered and crafted their characters around their own persona so that they could feel more relaxed, more comfortable when they were on film because they were kind of just playing themselves. Well, the film is After School Thriller, and it came about with those old school ideas, uh, me growing up in the 90s, that after school you would go home and you watch the After School Special, a nice 30-minute episode that gave you some sort of message, some sort of theme, Degrassi Junior High and all that. Um, this one maybe doesn't have a very strong theme or moral message, but it does have a lot of fun. We had a series of students who were just here rehearsing for a musical. They were getting ready to perform, and they were changing and making plans for their Friday night. However, something went awry, and as they exited the locker rooms, uh, they realized they were the only ones here, or at least they thought they were the only ones here. And the rest of the film is this idea of eight students trying to escape something in a school. Because we've all had that nightmare. What happens if you're locked in a school after hours? So tickets are on sale right now. In order to get one, all you have to do is go to Student Cash Online on our district webpage, lethsd.ab.ca. You go there and you're actually able to get tickets if you're over 16. There'll be five and a little bit of a service charge, so I think it comes out to like 525 for a ticket. If you're under 16, 325 for a ticket. And we want to fill our gym and uh, hopefully we'll see. And the the joy of this is maybe later on we'll be able to release this onto our YouTube channel and these this is something that these kids will have forever access to and who knows maybe it'll show up on some of these kids IMDB's as they become future stars or directors themselves